Welcome to today's video. Super excited. My favorite place to be in the whole world is on the back of my Harley Davidson. And I am headed to the shop to pick up my bike. If you don't know, well, the only way you couldn't know is if you're not following me on YouTube, Adam Sandoval Rides or on Instagram at Adam underscore Sandoval underscore ride. But for all of you that are following me online, uh, that's right, my stage four kit in my Milwaukee 8 is done. And I am headed to Paris Harley Davidson to pick it up right now. Right, we have arrived. Such a exciting moment, picking up your bike with motor work done. You know, the looks and the fancy stuff is always exciting to see. But there's nothing as exhilarating as feeling some new power, especially when you got a bike like mine, 2017 Road Glide Ultra, with about 30,000 miles on it. So I'm used to the way it feels, and now it's gonna feel completely different. Can't tell you any details, but he said, even though he didn't get on your bike, he said just getting on it a little bit was extremely different than a stock motorcycle. <laughs> now, Cody, you know dang well he got on that bike. No, he said he did. I know I would have. David's not that tight. He wants it broken in properly before I'm, you get on. I'm going to break it in proper. Well, break it in proper, but yeah. don't be like burning the tires off of it right off the bat. <sighs> you want to burn your tires Have you off it yet? that. Have you ridden it yet? No. Huh. But I will. If I burn tires, burn, burn tires off this? I burnt some tires off that thing already. Probably if you... Let's go see back to the shop. John Wower. Where they make the magic happen. What's up, man? Ooh, this is an exciting moment. Y'all are going through a very exciting moment with me right now. Uh, this is this is big. This is really big. How's the bike run, David? Runs good. You're gonna like it, man. You think so? You're gonna like it. <laughs> Tons of torque. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Feels good, huh? Yes. All right. I'm excited. So where is it? Is... It's out by the dock. Oh, it's outside? Yes. All right, let's go. Oh, there she is. Are you gonna leave it with me tonight? I don't know. Well, I meant like so we can detail it in the morning. Like detail it, detail it. It doesn't need to be detailed, detailed. It just needs to be ridden. Well, I owe you a detail. Okay. I'll take you up on that done. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man, I love that air intake too. That thing is beautiful. And the screaming eagle wires. Oh yeah, yeah that's beautiful. C and C ported. <laughs> David, how difficult was it? That wasn't too bad. Not too bad. Was it too bad? It's a good stage four upgrade. You're gonna like it. I'm glad I've got one of the best techs in the world. I think it's important to find a good tech. You know, a lot of techs are like real grumpy or ornery or you know, don't know really how to handle people. But I think a good important piece of being a tech is also being able to deal with the customer because I come yeah, to you and I wanna know what's happening with my bike, and you yeah. have always treated me good, guys. Anytime I'm getting worked on my bike, and I'm anywhere near Paris Harley-Davidson, this is the man I come see right there. <laughs> the short guy. He's the real deal, though, man. Yeah. He's, he's, he's what they call a triple threat. He's good at all the aspects. Short guy around here. They always take care of me, but before I ride it, Cody, I think I should see you ride it. Seriously? Yeah, let's see you ride it, man. Let's see what you got. I want to, I want to hear what you have to say. Do I get to ride it on the road? Yeah, man, take it, man. Let's see what it does. <laughs> got my helmet on? Don't yeah, you got to see motor. what it looks like. Well, you should probably put a helmet on. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty impressive. Is it? Yes. And that's that's a lot coming from me because I ride sport bikes also, so. Right, right. I smoked my old 110, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Bad. Yeah. Bad. Well, I guess it's my turn to test ride it. David, I know you gotta get back to work. I just wanna thank you. No I'll problem. tell you guys, when you walk in a door beneath that Harley Davidson shield, you know you're gonna get the best in customer service and support in work and craftsmanship, 
And that's what I got right here with David, man. I just want to give you lots of props up there. Y'all give David some love down in the comments because uh, the man did me right. All right, y'all, we are going to give this girl my first official test. Tell y'all what I think. I'm excited. I even like the way it looks. Maybe it's all in my head, but we're gonna find out. But it feels like in a saddle. Got a different sound to it, that's for sure. It sounds different. Okay, that joker, that's a big difference, man. I mean, that is legitimately a big difference. And through the whole power band, right from, from low RPM right up to high RPM, big difference. All right, let's get you guys inside and show you on a book exactly what the difference is from Harley's point of view. And we are back inside with my boy Kent here. Yay! At the parts counter. Gonna just go over a quick list of exactly what all went in to that bike. So, Kent, we got the what? So we ended up doing the stage four, Screaming Eagle kit, which you ended up doing, I saw you riding it a while ago, that's why there's a big grin on your face. <laughs> so we did the CNC ported cylinder heads, performance valve springs, 64 millimeter throttle body, your Screaming Eagle high flow injectors, your Screaming Eagle 4.05 bolt on cylinders, forged 11 to one high compression aluminum coated pistons, high performance pistons rings, of course, your 515 cam, Screen and Eagle cam bearing upgrade, what you got to do. Uh, high performance tappets, multi layer coated head gaskets, and a top end cylinder base and cam cover gaskets. And of course, we put a really, really, really nice high flow intake on it. Which intake did we put on that? We put the new one. Uh, Scream and Eagle Extreme Flow Air Cleaner, round, and it's got a really nice look. It flows way more air. And then what tuner did we put on there? We did the Scream and Eagle tuner, of course, to keep your warranty. Because there's two tuners on there, right? Did, we also did the uh, Smart Tune Pro. And what is the Smart Tune Pro all about? It's got a wideband O2 sensors for anyone that really wants more performance and, and uh, more capability to tune it. And also, if you get into higher altitude, it's automatically going to tune the bike for you. This is your Pro Street Tuner that we always do. And then your Smart Tune Pro, it kind of gives you your, your full throttle acceleration range that you're going to miss here, which you make up for here in your Smart Tune Pro. For that Smart Tune Pro, they actually had to drill and tap my existing exhaust. You're stuck exhaust because I'm still running the stock headers on there and there's a reason for that before you guys jump down my throat uh, we wanted to see I was curious because the headers are a big investment and I wanted to know exactly and I want to share with y'all so y'all could know exactly what the value is at that investment so I've built everything the way it is on a stock header I'm gonna get my 500 to a thousand miles on it right. then I'm gonna dyno tune my bike then I'm gonna put on those headers from Screaming Eagle I'm going to read Dino to my bike and all of you will be able to see exactly what value is in those headers, which I think is going to be fun. Oh yeah, and it'll sound better too. Uh, yes. And it will sound better, which is always good. Okay, so let's talk warranty because there's been a lot of confusion out there and a lot of people writing on my comments regarding the warranty. It's this simple. When you buy a new bike, you get a two-year warranty from the factory on that motorcycle. If within the first 60 to 90 days, you install Screaming Eagle parts onto that motorcycle, those parts are now covered in your two-year warranty of that motorcycle. Okay, so now those parts are two-year warranty. If you do like me, a year later, you come and install Screaming Eagle parts, like I did, into my Harley-Davidson engine that's still under warranty, it does not affect my existing two-year warranty. That term goes out its original length. But instead of getting the two-year warranty on the parts that I installed, I now get the factory's one-year warranty that they're offering on those parts. So now I've got my two-year manufacturer's warranty and whatever I've used up of that one year. So I've got one year left on that warranty regardless. They're still going to honor it because I have genuine Harley-Davidson parts and they know that they're keeping me within the EPA standards. Then I've got a one-year warranty on the parts themselves that they put in. 
All right, one more thing we're gonna talk about here, guys, and that is the difference between a stage three and a stage four performance. I had a lot of people commenting down in my comments. I'd, I'd, like, to, I'd like to start by saying there is no better application for everybody. This is just like buying a new motorcycle. Anybody who tells you that a Sportster is the best motorcycle for a first time rider, I have to disagree with them. Uh, I think whatever's best for you and your riding style and what you're comfortable in is the best first motorcycle for you. I also have to say the same thing comes when it comes to performance. Depending on your riding style is going to depend on what is the best kit for you. True, there are some applications in which this uh, stage four uh, runs at a higher RPM, if you will. And that works good for me, it's better for me because I prefer to run at a higher RPM. I tend to run my gears at the higher end of the RPMs. I like to hang out by that red line mark. I know, I know, but it's how I like to ride. Somebody else may like to stay down in that, in that 4,000 RPM ring. They like the lower end torque. So it just depends on how you like to ride. The difference between these two kits is for torque on my stage four, uh, and now before I go any further, keep in mind there are some variables here. This is not with the same air cleaner I have. I have a new uh, performance air cleaner. It's not necessarily with the same tuners I've got. So there are some variables, but apples to apples, not taking into my variables, which is probably going to change my numbers, I think, for a little bit better. Okay, but just apples to apples. Uh, running just the parts that they've listed them with. The stage four, okay guys, is gonna run 115 horse, 115 torque at 5,000 RPMs. It's gonna run 123 horsepower at 6,000 RPMs. The stage three, 112, 111 to 112 foot pounds of torque at 4,500 RPMs, so 500 less RPMs. 110 horsepower, at 6,000 RPMs, the same number. So really our numbers are, I'm getting three foot pounds more of torque at 500 more RPMs, and I'm getting 13 more horsepower at the exact same RPMs. So it's about your riding style. For me, I looked at the graphs, I looked at the charts, I looked at the information, and the stage four made the most sense for my riding style. It may vary for you. There is no right or wrong answer here, and if anybody tells you there is, Nod your head, say thank you very much for the information, and go ahead and make the decision that works best for you. All right, y'all, so that is it. Now I head over to my motorcycle, enjoy my new performance, my new power, as I head up to Eureka Springs, Arkansas for the spring fling. And uh, once I get her broken real good, probably when I come back from the Laughlin River run, we'll get some headers thrown on it. We'll get you dyno tunes between the two so y'all can see exactly what the difference is. I think this motorcycle is looking absolutely amazing. I love the Red Screaming Eagle wires on there. I think it adds a touch of performance look to it. I love that new extreme high flow air filter. I think it's like 11% more air being thrown into that engine. And uh, that CNC, let me take you down there and just show it to you one last time. Yes, that Screaming Eagle, CNC ported, badge on that engine. I'm digging it. Got some performance. I got some horse under the seat. Now, not only do I have a bike that's got good performance, I've also got probably one of the most comfortable riding long distance machines I've ever been on. If you have not already, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It's Adam Sandoval Rides. And if you're watching this on another platform besides YouTube, guess what? You have missed it. It's late. You're catching it behind everybody else. All my videos are released first on YouTube. Go there. Subscription's free. You click a little button. It helps me. It helps you stay up to date on what we're doing and, uh, well, it's just an easy way to find everything you're looking for. You want to know what kind of helmet I'm wearing, you want to know anything about what I'm doing, it's easy to search on there and find all the answers you're looking for. Alright guys, until the next vlogs, remember, I like to go fast.